In this video, you will see Julian and Alyssa thinking about filling a flask with water and trying to graph the height of the liquid in the flask as a function of the volume of the liquid that is added to the flask. As they work on the problem, consider the understandings they express and determine if their reasoning is valid. So like my first, this my first instinct would be like, as I guess like dipping linear, since like the water will be rising, so the height has to rise. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, so that one doesn't really take into consideration like the shape of the, the flask though. Mm -hmm. um, like if we look at this image, we'd add in like a little bit of volume, like of water and then a lot more. We'd add in a lot more and then like a little again. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's something like something like a little more like like that where little volume and then a lot and then like less volume again something like that so i guess like what i'm thinking is there's like a little bit of volume here compared to the volume here yeah so like I guess when you're adding the water, would it then be something like this instead? How come? Because look, when you're adding the water, the height is gonna go up really fast here with like, I guess like a little bit of amount, like with like the little bit of like volume in the section, but then like when you have like the volume in this section, like with the height slowed down. Okay. And then here it would go up again. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think like we just have to figure out like how the shape is going to affect the, like how these two interact. Yeah. And like which way it's going to go. I agree. In this video, Julian and Alyssa came up with several candidates for the graph that seemed reasonable. We'll explore how to construct this graph in upcoming videos.